So today I'd like to give you a little tour of the camper van. I'll set up at camp. Um, I'll show you the inside and the outside today. So over here, I have my uh, power connected to a surge protector here at the campsite. And I'm using a 50 foot cord here. Uh, my sewer is all connected and my water. I have a filter on the water, help uh, reduce some of the sediment that might come through the water lines. Everything's all connected over here. Connects down there. And then I'm using, I'm actually not sure what these are called, but I use one of these support systems for the hose, which is extremely helpful. Definitely recommend that. And then here is where you pull your sewer lines on the Thor Sequence 20L. And your, um, this is your black and your gray tanks. Up here is my Santa Flush. And that's the Truman. Um, it's where your hot propane air comes out. And then here is your city fill and your water fill. Careful not to get those two confused. I did that once. I think you only do that once. You could keep your sewer hose in here. It does hold a little bit of a smaller sewer hose. I don't keep anything in there. I have a longer sewer hose. And then over here, down the side, you have your on and off switch for your propane gas. And then your power connection and your cable. Walking around, I do have um, on the back here a cargo carrier that I added on to keep all of my cooking and all of my hookups back there. My bike rack. And then I have my awning out today. It's a power awning and you can put the, you can put the um, poles into the van or you can put them down in the ground if you like. It does have a couple of outlets right here. And down here you could hook up a grill with the propane down there. And then we're all set up to camp here with our little rug. And then over here, I have my screen drawer. Really great for keeping all the bugs out. And then up inside, we got a buddy. We have a little kitchen. And here's the front cab of the van. I have my seat turned around and the table extended. It's a perfect spot to just um, have dinner or lunch or just workstation. It does have some plugs down in here where you could plug in, plug in your laptop, make it your little workstation. Then over here is my microwave. I have a couple drawers down there, refrigerator. And then inside here, I do use this Brita water filter. So I have uh, drinking water, and then I have a Brita water bottle as well. My little Keurig, little slim Keurig, has this pop-up uh, plug center here. So you can also charge and uh, plug in. And then up front here, I have water cooler. Keep all my drinks and stuff in. And then I just have an ice pack that I have in my refrigerator. This has a little freezer. And then I have an ice pack up in there. So I just swap out the ice packs every day and this um, cooler keeps everything nice and cool. And then over here I have my bed set up on the right. And on the left I have it set up as a sofa. A little TV, the TV does pull out just pull this little cord and then you pull your TV and your TV comes out and you can turn the TV so you can see it from this direction 
or you can turn the TV so you can see it when you're sitting over here. And I think you can actually turn it so you can see it outside as well. Yeah. And then under here, which I won't pull up at this time, it does have storage. Um, I've added these snaps on. Well, actually, my dad added the snaps on. Keep these cushions from sliding all around. And then on my bedside, I've added some extra cushion to make it a little more comfortable. And then up top here, I have several of these um, cabinets. Perfect for storing all of your all of your things. There's lots of storage in this van. Up here is my media center, which I have open at the moment. And then storage up here at the very, very top. I've stuffed every little spot with something. And then storage in here as well. I guess I haven't stuffed as much stuff up there yet. And then down here, we have two drawers. Um, I'm mostly just keeping dog items down there. And then if you go into the van, in the very, very back here, you have your uh, little bath section and a toilet. Does have a shower. I've never showered in here. I probably won't unless I have to. Little pull down sink. And this faucet swivels around. Serves its purpose. Little medicine cabinet up here. And then the doors, the doors do slide together and latch. And then you have your wardrobe closet. The drawers on, the, on this wardrobe closet pull out um, and they're nice and deep. And then up here is a fan. And then there's my ladder. And then here's the back of the van doors. They do open all the way up. And back down behind here is your shower, your spray hose connection when your van doors are up, open. So it's a nice little uh, camper van. It's the Thor Sequence 20L. And it's uh, great for one or two people. Drives really great. Rides really nice. You can pack a lot of stuff in here. So far, I'm enjoying the van. And then up here, you have your control center. So this is where uh, you would control all of the lights. Here's my awning. And then you can turn all your lights on with one button. Turn all your lights off. And then you just go into the different um, areas to control what you would like to control. Up here is for your heat only, your heat and hot water, and you can turn that on and off uh, with that one. And then down here is where you have all of your other controls, your um, solar, your battery, your house battery. Um, and then over here you can see how much power you're drawing from each option there. And of course the fire extinguisher. Overall, nice little van for one or two people.